Hi, it's Dr. Sonia Doherty. I'm a naturopathic doctor with a special focus on the biomedical treatment of autism spectrum disorder. One of the most interesting things that we found through research is that there are many medical aspects to autism that we can assess and we can treat, resulting in improvements in quality of life, things like sleep, mood, appetite, behavior, and also uh, when treated, it can optimize development, improving things like communication, uh, learning skills, and social interaction. So today I'd like to talk about the microbiome and a microbe called yeast that can cause problems. So yeast is part of the ecosystem in our gut, which may, you know, we have about 400 trillion microbes that live in our intestine. And some of those microbes are very helpful and some of those microbes are problematic. Uh, the research has shown that in autism, species of yeast, particularly candida, can overgrow in the intestine. Now, all human beings have yeast, but when yeast gets to a higher level, it can cause lots of problems. It can cause symptoms that we can see here. So things like children being demanding, non-compliant. Uh, you can actually have kids who are aggressive or self-interest. They bang their head. Yeast overgrowth in the intestine can lead to stimming, putting your hands over your ears, or wanting to chew on things all the time. Laughing for no reason is a very unique uh, symptom that's almost always caused by yeast overgrowth. A lot of these kids with yeast uh, overgrowth in the intestine climb all the time. They wake up in the middle of the night. They jump, they pace back and forth. They can also seem like they're off in their own world. Um, they can lack energy or they can be really hyperactive. So this uh, list of symptoms has come from tens of thousands of parents uh, of children with autism, in addition to researchers who've looked at the gut or the microbiome, which is the ecosystem in the gut and have identified problems that will disrupt development and will negatively impact things like communication, social interaction and learning. So the good news is we can assess for yeast. We can test the gut to see if there's yeast overgrowth. We can also treat the yeast. We can stop feeding the yeast, which feeds on complex carbohydrates. We can repair the nutrient deficiencies that are caused by yeast overgrowth, which includes depletion of B6, biotin, CoQ10, and alpha-lipoic acid. So yeast overgrowth in the intestine causes a lot of problems in autism. It is a medical concern that is treatable and reversible.